Um, hello, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to present here today. <coughs> um, I'm going to give you a 30-second uh, intro into Twitter, then talk about uh, the space of uh, big data and health, uh, show you um, the challenge of doing what we do, um, and then um, hopefully, when time permits, um, we'll go to um, a live uh, demo uh, of our products. Um, so we are really at a fascinating um, intersection um, of uh, social media and big data. Um, now, uh, social media, as we know, basically have changed everything. I think it's a huge democratic uh, tool, and, and in a minute we'll talk about how this uh, basically impacts uh, health as well. Uh, but all of this was not being possible, basically, without um, the big data uh, capabilities that were developed over the last couple of years, uh, names like um, Hadoop and the ability to, to process and understand um, a huge amount of data. Um, so, from a social perspective, uh, there's a big change. Uh, your patients uh, are basically spending probably less than 1% of their time uh, with you and 99% uh, with me. Um, so, um, and I'm uh, trying to record them and, um, and understand what um, they talk about. A few quick words about uh, Twitter and, and its Israeli startup, five years in existence, we've raised $25 million the top life science uh, venture firms in, in the US. Uh, we are selling already into five of the largest 10 uh, pharma companies in, in the world. Two of the uh, leading uh, medical schools in, in the US are already conducting research uh, based, on, uh, based on our data. Um, if I want to create uh, interest or, or at least an argument in, in, in def definitely in an academic uh, um, speech, is the fact that the data knows everything. Now, the data knows everything. The data knows if the packaging is not correct. The data knows if there is a side effect. The data knows if there's an off-label. We have reports of 16,000 off-label uses all across social media. Well, probably 80% of them are crap. It's not crap. Probably the patient didn't understand. But out of, um, out of the huge amount of data, basically every health-related um, question can be answered. Uh, how can I improve the adherence? Um, what is the physician advice? Why are my, pacing, why are my patients switching um, uh, treatments? Um, and again, um, really the big, big claim is uh, the data knows everything. Uh, by the way, if you like, uh, through the presentation, you can go to twitter.com. Uh, there is a free to the consumer website. Um, more than 15 million patients have used it um, today, and, 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 and you can search and get um, and get the feel of it. So the future of patient insights, uh, the business model for Twitter is selling into the pharma, um, as well as giving the, the entire data set into the consumers for um, absolutely free. Um, and you see that big data analytics, um, uh, analyzing and understanding the social web uh, is creating a huge uh, opportunity and a huge uh, social opportunity as well. New treatment opportunities, competitive gaps, switching behaviors, um, uh, unmet, uh, uh, unmet needs and, uh, and concerns. Um, what are the challenges in, um, in understanding uh, big data social media? Uh, first of all, let's understand the amount of data out there. Okay? We have to date 2 billion pieces of data. Okay? We are throwing away about 76% of them. So one of the uh, advantages of the technology is being able to clean, uh, to clean the data. Um, and uh, the amount of data and the amount of new data that is generated um, every day is a huge challenge. Um, unstructured patient language. A patient can come and say, my head explodes, and he basically mean, means a severe, a severe headache. So in a minute, when, when, we, when we talk about our solution, we'll see how we deal with this. Um, understand personal health experience. There's a huge difference um, of recording someone that says, I watched the 10 o'clock uh, news yesterday, and they said uh, 1, 2, and 3, uh, versus um, I took it. By the way, the I took it um, is now creating a, even a bigger challenge because 55% of the posts are being written by what is called a family caregiver. Okay? It is usually a woman at the age of 30 to 50 who is basically taking care of about nine to ten different individuals uh, within the family. So uh, understanding uh, this language 
um, is, is a challenge as well. And then building a scale and, and real-time um, uh, infrastructure, we are operating out of two significant data centers um, in the US, and this is a very significant um, expense and a technological uh, challenge. So uh, let's go very quickly over the, uh, uh, over the challenges again to, to understand why did it took us five years to, uh, uh, to develop this, okay? Uh, spam, 76% uh, of the health data on Facebook is either junk or not enough of a quality of an information. Uh, over 90% of the data on Twitter is junk to the level that we have decided not to include Twitter in our, in, in our data. So cleaning the spam and bringing only a quality uh, data is a very significant challenge. Um, the patient language. Look at, uh, look at the abbreviations and the differences in how millions of people or tens of millions or hundreds of millions of people um, write and express themselves in, in, on the web. So TIA, you see for yourself, Stomach was being ripped out. It's basically a stomach pain. Almost had a heart attack. It's not a heart attack. Okay. And, and MS is also Microsoft, by the way. Okay. Um, all of this is creating a big challenge. Um, uh, we have measured our accuracy rate, and it's 89%. So one can say, listen, this is heads. 89% is not enough. 89% is a great number when you are trying to understand, basically, the entire, um, uh, the entire world uh, population. Again, uh, uh, BP is, is, uh, is a lot of things, okay? Uh, <coughs> Look how difficult it is to basically understand and, and what people are saying, especially the causality of things, okay? So I was on Bayeta for a few months and also suffered no side effects. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is from an NLP perspective, natural language processing capabilities. This is, um, uh, this is the one, one of the most difficult sentences to understand, negation, positive and negatives. And, and again, in this very complicated uh, domain is, is, um, is extremely difficult, okay? If instead of drugs I was following uh, stocks, for instance, okay? And th the work was 90% easier. Um, for instance, a stock is a stock, but, but when a patient is trying to describe death, uh, there's endless ways and there are endless words to basically uh, describe this, okay? Um, you, can, you can continue and read the, the example. Uh, my son wa uh, was switched from uh, Vitalian to Concerta, and it works um, a lot better. So uh, we are looking at, at a drug switch. Um, again, um, Again, extremely difficult, and now we are talking about scale, okay? And, and if, if we had, I don't know, 1,000 a day, 10,000 a day, 100,000 a day, that would be nice. And we are looking at millions, uh, we are looking at millions of posts and, and a day and trying to understand them both on the very small level, for instance, on the drug and the side effect, and very large level, um, is, is extremely challenging. Now, we talked about the importance of social media. What social media is allowing, social media and big data is allowing companies like us, is basically bring at a fairly minuscule investment of $25 million to date, what the CDC and the FDA in, in, is having. So for instance, two or three months ago, we thought that there is an increase of infection reports globally. That's a big thing, okay? At the end, it wasn't, okay? But the fact that a very small vendor like us can basically scan the world and start surfacing, let's call it even speculations, okay, is, is, um, um, is a fascinating one. And so I'm going to move in, 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 in my presentation to, um, to basically what and how um, uh, we do it. So on the free site, uh, we have uh, more than 1.6 billion uh, posts. Uh, they do not include Facebook. Um, we decided not to put Facebook out publicly uh, because 80% uh, of you doesn't know that basically it's an, it's an open data. 80% of you doesn't know that um, you need either to close your profile 
or else, for instance, people like myself can come and, and look at the data. So um, we've decided not to expose um, uh, Facebook data. We are covering 25,000 drugs and conditions. Um, we are covering now 3,000 uh, uh, social um, health sites. Um, and we provide the patient voice, and we treat it very uh, seriously. And as a result, uh, um, you'll see in a minute that we have decided, and we are the only ones in the world doing this, uh, to open our big data infrastructure to the patient um, as well, completely for uh, free, no advertising, no advertising supported. So on the Twitter.com site, that um, again you can you can go and visit now. 1.6 billion posts, uh, growing by hundreds of thousands on a daily basis. Um, um, every condition, um, every side effect, every OTC. So for the first time, you are looking at a scalable data set. Okay, um, and um, we are not saying or we, we don't want this data, this data set to be a standalone. What we want it to be is an integral part in every health decision. Health decision of a patient, if you're going in, to take a drug or to go through a procedure, go and see what other people are saying. I mean, you do that for TripAdvisor and the hotel that, 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 that you're choosing. You are doing it for Yelp to look for the best hummus place in Palo Alto. There's only one, by the way. And, and, uh, and, and you don't do this for, for your health. So um, all we are saying is um, when, um, when you have a health decision, we want you to treat to it uh, as well, regardless if you are a patient, a healthcare professional, or a researcher. Uh, we talked about the challenges. Um, we are constantly building the capability uh, of understanding uh, the domain. Um, so uh, what we did is as follows. One, there is an ontology, a Lipitor is a drug. We're going to sh see Lipitor in a minute. Um, but a severe headache is also my head explodes. So we've, crea we've created basic, basically the patient ontology. <coughs> and on top of this, we have developed the ability to understand. Now, the ability to understand data has basically two technological options. One is to say, I don't know what's in the data, but I'm going to understand it. Um, Intelligence, Israeli intelligence organizations are usually doing this. We said, no, we need a, a higher level of accuracy. So we have defined for ourselves the questions that we want to answer. Okay, that eliminates or reduces the level of mistakes. Okay, so for instance, switching patterns is something that we are looking for. Physician advice is something that, um, um, that we are looking for. Um, uh, so that has took um, um, a, a lot of years and a lot of um, money and engineering times. Once we basically understood it, um, now we, we are changing it from uh, being an unstructured data set <coughs> to a structured data set. The minute we have a, a structured data set, we can then, uh, we can then go and, and aggregate it and start to hopefully and create some uh, sense and meaning out of it, okay? Um, and now, after um, all of these wonderful things um, that, that we did, um, we are presenting it in two different ways. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to uh, uh, present uh, both today. One, um, the consumer um, uh, site, twitter.com, and then um, uh, we'll jump very quickly into the, um, um, into the uh, professional version, uh, hopefully, as well. Uh, what is the world talking about today? Uh, pain management is, um, um, is number one. Pregnancy, fertility, huge issue on, 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 on the net. Uh, weight issues is, 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 is also, in, in, but w the minute you start playing with big data and you are curious, um, um, you see some interesting differences. For instance, uh, if you look at US data, you see that drunkness is number 20 on the topics. If you look at UK data, uh, drunkness, drunkness is number eight, okay? Uh, Brits are using vitamins significantly less than, um, than, than the US uh, population. So you really have the ability both to zoom in as well as zoom out and look really at, um, at uh, populations. Um, who should take notice? Basically everyone. Um, the empowered patient um, is creating both a challenge and an opportunity for the, for the healthcare um, a domain. The patient is coming um, to the physician's room equipped with uh, 50 pages of, of information, including the research that was published yesterday, and, and the poor physician doesn't have, even doesn't have the, the, the opportunity 
or the chance to, uh, to know about that. Uh, pharma companies are really, in, uh, are really interested in the, into the data set, um, leaving all the cynicism um, aside uh, of them don't wanting to know um, about bad things. Um, uh, we, see a lot of, uh, we see a lot of interest both from pharmacovigilance as well as uh, from research. A healthcare uh, professional has uh, every emergency room in the United States um, is visiting the site. Uh, when they have something that they don't understand, that they are not familiar with, um, every emergency room has at least one, if not three different computers um, connected to Dr. Google. Uh, from Dr. Google, it brings you to Dr. Twitter, um, and, and, and people constantly um, uh, search the data. Um, and finally, research. Um, we are very open to providing um, uh, this data basically for no cost. Uh, for research, uh, we are doing uh, uh, two significant projects now. One is public with Tufts University and five uh, in, uh, medical school and five uh, pharma companies. Uh, and the other one is not, is not uh, uh, published yet, but we definitely encourage and, 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 and happy to provide uh, uh, the data sets. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, so this is the feed of the consumer um, website, approximately 60 to 70,000 uh, uh, people on, on, on a daily basis. Um, as you can see, we basically recorded today approximately 100 million patients, uh, 1.6 billion uh, posts. We are covering every medication, every possible condition. Um, and um, I, I'd like to start by choosing a very popular drug by the name of, by the name of Lipitor and just show you how we've decided to build uh, the site. Again, uh, building it um, is, is nothing but, uh, uh, but trivial because data, data, big data vis visualization is very challenging. So um, up above, you see a Lipitor with 42,000 posts. Um, now, um, <coughs> Lipitor is, is a less chatty drug. I mean, uh, and there are more talked about drugs. We can, we can go to the fertility drugs that we find, I don't know, 400 and 500,000 um, in, in different posts. Now, remember the philosophy of the data. We take nothing from the FDA. We take no nothing from publications. We take everything from the user, OK? So when it says taken for, this is what the patient said that it's being taken for, OK? If the patient, excuse my French, is stupid, it's going to be recorded there, OK? Why? Because this, this is a patient voice. If the patient has left the, the physician room and he didn't understand what the medication is for, OK, and he came online to, uh, 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 to report it, to write about it, we are going to record it as well. We have no filters. Um, we don't provide, quote unquote, any censorship. And on, on the data, we present it as is, OK? In a minute, you'll see that we are talking about positives and negatives. It, if the same post has a positive uh, um, reference and a negative reference, we count them uh, both. Again, uh, we don't provide any editorial um, um, review, if you like, OK? And, and now, we've really done something that, um, to the best of our knowledge, no one has and did out there, we have ranked the uh, medications based on satisfaction of patients. So like people ra rank hotels, we decided to rank uh, medications. I know that research can attack this from here till whatever, okay? But the minute that you have enough data, and the minute you see a pattern within this data, um, there is some logic to it, okay? So uh, you see, for instance, that Lipitor, a very popular drug, uh, is getting only two and a half pills or two and a half points out of five points of satisfaction. In a minute, we'll see why. Um, you go to Zetia, you see that Zetia is getting, um, is getting uh, four and a half. Again, I'm not referring here to prices. I'm not referring here to availability of insurance plans. Um, um, uh, nothing. Uh, I'm ranking what? Uh, patients um, have said. When you scroll down, um, intentionally we didn't say side effects uh, because this is very complicated to determine what is a side effect and what is the phenomena, for instance, of a disease. Um, and we have ranked the patient's um, uh, concerns, obviously, again, based on frequency. Okay? 
Now, why did I choose Le Petot? Because Le Petot um, is well known for its um, muscle pain issues. So this uh, tool is not only discovery, but also confirmatory, okay? Um, and this is a, a strong confirmation to the statistical capability of the tool. And again, you don't need to uh, take my word on it. This is a completely open to the public uh, uh, data set. Now, this is one use case when a patient is coming and saying, okay, I want to look at what other people are saying, and we've aggregated this for them. But let's uh, take another example that, for instance, the patient is thinking that Lipito is causing him memory loss. Now, this is already quite a sophisticated patient that is connecting two very distinct, not distinct, two very far away events, and, 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 and is bringing it and is writing about it and, uh, online. So I click here memory, and I see at least three different aggregation of reports on memory loss and Lipitor. Um, and if you click uh, on, uh, uh, on the memory loss, um, uh, you see that, we'll see that in a minute. You see that, uh, 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 Five minutes? You see that, that 500 patients um, have reported uh, memory loss and, um, and, and Lipitor, okay? If we have only five minutes, let me try and show you one more thing, which hopefully you will find interesting. Um, and it will take me a minute to log in, and I apologize for this. For the sake of time, what I want to show you is basically the professional version. Um, of, um, of, of what you see on the consumer on the consumer, um, on the consumer um, uh, site. Um, so let's try to, to, to wrap up and, and, and understand um, what, we've, what we've covered here for the last, uh, uh, for the last 20 minutes. Uh, patients are coming online to report about the medical problems. They do it in an unbelievable amount of data, unbelievable amount of sophistication, and um, they really disregard privacy issues when they have a problem. So you see people uh, are writing, I'm looking for a pain doctor in Oklahoma, and people are putting their cell phone numbers. Why? Because they want a solution, okay? Uh, we have the capability that we didn't have five years ago from a technology perspective to process a huge amount um, um, of data. Um, and as a result, we've, we've basically managed uh, uh, to, mesh up, uh, uh, to mesh up everything to one large searchable database. Now, let's zoom out a little bit from uh, the drugs that we've talked about all the time. And um, a question, um, um, is acupuncture working or not? No one really knows the answer. Now, there's a claim that our data knows the answer because we have millions and millions of millions of reports of acupuncture with 17 different reasons that patients took acupuncture. So uh, the importance of this tool and this capability in social media is that it surfaced in everything and the people that controlled the data five or 10 years ago really are not controlling it anymore. And now you see a wave following the social media wave. So for instance, the NHS in, in the UK um, has embarked an initiative to basically open a, a huge amount of data sets uh, for research and for entrepreneurs um, um, like ours. So this is going to significantly change um, uh, and the landscape um, creates um, a lot of opportunities both for pet better treatment and, and commercialization um, and hopefully will reduce um, uh, healthcare costs um, as well. Uh, thank you.